Chad Brown. <laughs> Honey, what's wrong with you? What's got into you, anyway? You never acted this way before. What is it? Your daddy been talking to you? Is that it? Huh? Hey. You gonna answer me, or am I gonna have to kiss it out of you? Stop it, Chad. <sighs> yeah, Pa's been talking to me, and so have a lot of other people. They don't think it's right and proper the way I've been carrying on with you. Well, you come right down to it, it ain't. Chad, all the times that we've been seeing each other, you've never mentioned marrying once. Honey, what kind of a man would I be to ask you to marry me and lead the kind of life I lead? Chad, I don't care what kind of a life you lead. I know all about you. I've even helped you. I'd do anything you'd ask me to do, Chad, but... You know, I've been hearing things about you. Yeah? What kind of things? About you and... other girls. Why, Julie Kittredge. I do believe you're jealous. I don't think it's funny, Chad. Well, honey, I gotta be honest with you. I admit I'm no angel, never have been. And I have known a girl or two, but uh, I will say this. I never looked at another girl from the first day I met you, and that's the truth. You better believe it. Oh, I want to, Chad. I mean, do. Hey. You know why I brought you out here today? Too long. Oh, honey, I've been busy. You know that. You've been busy with Julie Kittrick. That's who you've been busy with. Oh, who's been telling lies about me to my best girl? You, Chad. And right in my little ear. They say around town that you're going to marry up with Julie. That ain't true. Give her a ring, didn't you? Yes, I did. I gave her a ring. That's true. But you know why I gave her a ring? So she wouldn't get mad and say things about me that she oughtn't to say. Well, aren't you afraid I'll talk, Chad? I... When a man loves a woman with the pure love I have for you, he knows she's not going to say nothing. <laughs> Rose, where are you, gal? Here, Pa. Oh. Oh, howdy, Chad. Oh, howdy, Leif. Uh, we were just sitting here uh, looking at the shooting stars. Oh. Well, that, that's all right, Chad. You don't need to explain. Well, as a matter of fact, I came over to see you, Leif. I... I heard things weren't going so well. They ain't, Chad. That's the pure truth. They sure ain't. Wells dried up. Whole place is so dry a man has to prime himself to spit. Yeah, that's what I heard. Well, what you need is a new well. I brought along something to help you dig it. Oh. Oh, now, you didn't have to do that, Chad. Well, Leif, I can't think of any man in the county that's more deserving, and I'm just happy that I can offer it to you. Well, thank you, son. Since you put it that way. Hey, Rose, why don't you and Chad come up to the house now? You go ahead, Pa. 
He and Chad's going to look for some more shooting stars. Oh. Oh, sure. You you go right ahead. Leif, um... Yes, Chad. Say, why, it might be a good idea to dig that well Tuesday night. Anything you say, Chad. Anybody ask you, I, I help you dig it, and we worked a little overtime. I stayed that night, all right? You can count on me, Chad, just like always. I'll even tell him what you had for breakfast Wednesday morning. office, we cut down on them. How'd you know not to set a trap? We didn't know nothing, deputy. But when you're leaving that kind of money in a cheese box express office safe overnight, you take precautions. Yeah. Too bad they're too dead to talk. How many got away? Three. I'm pretty sure I hit one of them. I don't know how bad. Let's go get him, Heck. Burns, he is a loyal man, a faithful friend and true. If you call Chad Burns partner, he lay down and die for you. You do, and them deputies catch me. I'm going to talk, Chad. What? Oh, Chad isn't going to leave you. Chad isn't going to leave you. I'll just go back and get a doctor. Receiving. I knowed you wouldn't go leave me, Chad. Forgive me for being such a fool.
not dragging himself into the bushes. Not after he's been shot in the head. I've seen this camp team before. Yeah. Belongs to Chad Burns. Well, he's had it coming to him for a long time. Don't think his brother's gonna like it. You better get his brother down here. Come on, Miss Kittrick, take a look. And then tell me how you and Chad Burns brought buggy riding last night. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> tell me that Chad Burns hasn't got an alibi this time. Let go of me. What are you looking at me like that for? Where'd you get that ring? I don't think that's any of your business. It's stolen goods. That's a lie, Chet. I think if you'll take a look at the inside of that band, you'll find engraving. One word. Forever. It was stolen from a lady in a train robbery. Take it off and look for yourself. Go ahead. I know what you're trying to do, Deputy, but it won't work. You can never turn me against Chad Burns. Don't you think we better confiscate the ring? It's stolen property. No, I think it'll do us more good right where it is. near the body. Who is the other man? Who owns this canteen? I don't know. Sure you do, you know. I gotta think about it for a spell. Well, you take all the time you need. took you to get this from St. Louis. The deputies told me you stole it. Yeah, well, I guess that makes me look kind of cheap, don't it? How many lies have you told me, Chad? And why? Oh, look, honey. Were you lying when you told me you loved me? No, I wasn't. And when you asked me to marry you? No, I asked you, and I asked you purely. You know that. And why are you lying now, Chad? Prove it, Chad. Marry me now and prove it. 
I'll believe any lie you ever tell me with my heart and soul. I can't. I see. No, you don't see, honey. I'd ask you to marry this minute if I could, but I can't, honey. I'm in a terrible mess of loss on my tail, honey. I gotta lay low so things cool off. Oh, honey, girl, don't you understand? I can't ask you to tell like this. But I promise you one thing. I promise you we'll get married just as soon as things are right again. I promise you that, baby. Dad, we... We could be married now. At my house if it's too risky and down. Oh, Chad, I need you. I need you to be with me. But anyway, I can believe in you. I don't want to wait anymore. You promised me that? You promised? Chad Burns and you get it to him fast. Now either he comes to me and tells me what happened to Seth, or I'm telling the law everything I know about him. doing here? Rose, you know where Chad is. I've got to tell him something. Now, how would I know where Chad Burns is? Rose, you got to help me. You've got to get word to Chad somehow. It... Tell him. Tell him. Well, what do you want to come busting in here for? I don't know anything about Chad Burns. It... It's nothing. I just wanted to tell him that, that everything's all right for tomorrow. For tomorrow? Yes. It's our wedding day. Well, now I guess you don't know how things stand between you and me. Well, I hope not. It'd be an awful handicap for a fellow starting out in married life. Now, where are you going? Oh, I'm going to ask your daddy to the wedding. I'm going to invite all my friends to the wedding. Oh, all except you. Naturally. So many of you folks out here for my wedding. This is going to be a big day, a big day in Lehman Tree. Happy to see you. What's the matter? You folks act like you've been eating sour prunes. Well, why didn't somebody say something? 
Maybe they don't want to talk to a back shooting murderer. He killed my brother, Chad. He was hurt and needing help. And you shot him in the back. That ain't so, Bill. That ain't so. Anybody killing was one of them deputies. There's nobody but you, Chad. You believe that? You believe that? Julie, are you? Yes, Chad. And now, these folks seem to think I had something to do with the shooting. You tell them the truth. You tell them where I was when he was shot. I don't know where you were, Chad. I wasn't with you. Maybe you were with Rose. She's a very pretty girl. She has beautiful hands. Hi. I can explain about that ring. I don't want to hear about it, Chad. No one wants to hear your explanations anymore, either. The way things are, I guess there's no change in them. I'm not one to hang around where I'm not wanted, so uh, it's all the same to you folks. I think I'll just be moseying on out. All right, give it up, Chad. We're taking you in. You fooled a lot of folks, mister, including me. Your fooling days are over. Pretty Fox. You folks bamboozle me proper. I came to my wedding and walked right into my funeral. All right, let's get right into it. Oh, the young and old all loved him. Chad Burns, so brave and good. He robbed the rich to feed the poor, just like old Robin Hood. He was the greatest hero in all the old Southwest. When names are called up yonder, Chad Burns will head the rest. I got a bad taste in my mouth. Come on, I'll buy a drink. What is the matter with them? Don't they know that song's a pack of lies? Well, the folks back in Leaning Free aren't singing it. You wait. Ten years, nobody will remember how it really was. You'll hear about how Burns was the bravest man in the country, along with Jesse James and Sam Bass and a lot of other cutthroats. And if they remember us, it'll be to say that we shot him in the back. Yep. It'll be you two who shot him. The dirty turncoats took him upon his wedding day. And everyone who loved him cried to see him led away. Hang down your heads, you cowards. You dirty sons of guns. You're gonna hang a hero, and his name is Brave Chad Burns. <laughs>